Today, I would like us to discuss something brief about um, ERP Next. And uh, I have prepared some slides that I'm going to be showing you uh, in a few minutes uh, about the, the things that I would like us to talk about ERP Next today. So, uh, what exactly is ERP Next? Why you should consider ERP Next um, when you want a business solution? So, even before we go there, uh, let me point out that an ERP is supposed to be a solution or a product that eliminates the need of many software in your organization or in your business or in the business of your client. So if you find that your client has, uh, let's say, two, three, four, or even ten software that they are using, such that they have an accounting software on this side, they have an HR on that other side, and probably the HR has even more than one software. And then maybe they have a stock management uh, software on the other side. Then what that client needs, or what you need if that is you, is an ERP. An ERP is supposed to be integrated such that every uh, department in your business is within one software. So let no one tell you that you, can, you are supposed to have two ERPs or three ERPs. That doesn't make sense. If you have one ERP, that ERP is supposed to take care of all your business processes. Now, um, an ERP Next is a good product and uh, we are going to be seeing why exactly in this ratio. So let me share that and let me show you right away. So the first thing here is that um, ERP Next is a product that uh, is first of all open source. So open source here, uh, we mean that there isn't any annual licenses for your software. So um, you can consider ERP Next as an open source business solution. You can compare ERP Next as a robust software solution that can help you manage your daily transactions. Now let's go into the why ERP because this is where actually everybody wants to hear. So, the first reason why you should choose ERP next of uh, any other ERP that is out there is first of all because it is open source. And I know some of you are already thinking, well, you know, uh, there are many other software that are open source. It's not only ERP next. I mean, uh, the truth here is that ERP next is truly open source. There are no games that ERP next plays here. You are going to find other software that are telling you they are open source, but then uh, if you look at it keenly, you are going actually to find that that software is not related to real open source. Uh, it's like a bit that you are given so that you start using the software in open source. And then later when you need some very important reports, what you are going to be getting inside is links that are taking you to the premium uh, uh, or to the enterprase version of the same software. So ERP Next does not play such games. Everything is open source. And you can customize it to suit your need. You can get everything without having to pay any, anything for it. The second reason is that ERP Next is fully customizable. Now, there is no limit as to how much you can customize ERP Next. Um, maybe that is only going to be limited by your ingenuity. So, if you are a good Python developer or a, Java, a, a, a JavaScript developer, I'm mentioning Python and JavaScript because Python, I mean ERP Next uses Python in the front end, I mean in the back end, and it uses uh, JavaScript in the front end. So you need to have some good understanding of Python and JavaScript for you to be able to customize ERP Next. But once you understand those two languages, then there is nothing you cannot achieve with uh, ERP Next. So ERP Next is like, you can consider that to be like a blueprint that contains a lot of business functions out of the box and then the simple customizations that you need so that your business can serve you in the best way that you want are allowed to be done within ERP Next. So you can customize the Python code, you can add your own code, you can write your own uh, specific business processes that are specific to your business. The third advantage is that there is a lot of transparency in pricing. And some people may start asking, why are you talking about pricing and you told us that this thing is open source? And this is the reason. ERP Next also provides you as um, a, a cloud service where you can host your 
software with them. So there is a cloud service that they are offering. You can go there and create your instance there. And then you can start using your index from there. Now, if you host them on their cloud, they charge you for the cloud services, not for the software. So they need to, uh, 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 to charge you for the storage, uh, for the request you are making and all that. And that is what we are seeing here that their pricing model is very clear. It's not like uh, many other software we have out there. So there isn't going to be, to be surprises at the end of the month when you receive the invoice, like this guy here. This guy is seriously surprised. Uh, there isn't going to be such a surprises. So there is going to be smooth, uh, trans, uh, smooth payment of invoices. Uh, every invoice received is not going to be a surprise at all. The other reason is user friendliness. Now, over the years we have been used to ERPs that are very complicated and uh, getting uh, information from them uh, proves to be a nightmare. Now, with ERP next, things are different. Um, everything has been organized in modules and therefore uh, you can access data from a module to another. And then the other advantage is that they have what is called Awesome Search. Awesome Search comes to solve a million problems. So you can search anything from, an, from the Awesome Search, whether it is a customer record, it is a document you want to search, like for instance, um, maybe you want to add a new customer, you can look for the customer list, and then you can go there and add a new record. You can even add a new customer directly from the Awesome Search. You can search a name of the customer, and that's going to give you all the, uh, the customers whose names are contain the, what you're going to type on the Awesome Search. You can also look even for reports from the Awesome Search. So, so that makes the system extremely uh, user friendly. All right. The other thing is that there, it comes with unique modules. And I normally consider two unique modules here. Uh, and that is number one, we have the project module, and number two, we have the e commerce module. Now, these two modules, if you are to get other um, software out there, you may need to pay for those modules separately. But here, Pines provides those two modules out of the box for no extra charge. So just as ERPNX is open source, even those two modules are open source and minimum modules are also open source. The good feeling here is that there is unlimited scaling. So you don't have to fear when your business grows because of course with efficiency that ERPNX is going to bring to your business, you are guaranteed that there is going to be growth that is going to be happening in your business and therefore, you want to get a software that will not give you problems uh, in scaling. And the fact that your Next supports deployment in Kubernetes means that you don't have to worry about vertical scaling or horizontal scaling. Uh, so when your business grows, uh, you just deploy your instance on Kubernetes and then that problem is going to be sorted once and for all. Now, here I have a list of modules that come out of the box with ERP Next. And these are not all, these are just some of them that uh, could fit on this page. There are many more that come with, uh, with ERP Next. And that includes accounting, human resource, payroll, CRM, buying, selling, manufacturing, and agriculture. And then we also have inventory management, we have loan management, we have asset management, project management. NGO management, so that is for the non-government organizations, so there is that functionality as well. There is school management, school includes whether it's a university, it's a high school or whatever kind of a school, that functionality is in there. We have healthcare and we also have retail, so we have things like point of sale functionality within ERP Next, so you can manage that there as well. And there's something else, the last thing that you need to hear here that there is also a marketplace where there is even more applications that have been built by the community and some of them have also been built by Frappe and ERP Next themselves. And the beauty is that some of these applications are free but some of them are not free. And that is because of course there are those community members 
who feel uh, they need to charge something for the application. So they go there, they build the application, and then they publish it on the marketplace for a fee. Now, the beauty is that if you are become so good in Frappe and in ERP Next, you can also build your application and then you can publish it on the marketplace. Now, the decision is yours. If you want to publish it there for free, they will allow you to, market, to publish it there for free. If you want to put it there and you want to charge something for it, you can also do that. They, you are going to, to publish it and then if people find it of value, maybe people are going to buy it and use it in their businesses. That's it. That is what I wanted us to cover today. Uh, my name is Geoffrey Karani. I am the founder of Opelsoft Limited and these are our contacts. You can see them there. We are consultants in ERP Next and the Frappe framework. We are um, our Frappe official partners and we also do software building. That is software that is outside uh, outside uh, ERP Next. So we build other custom software. So for any questions, any queries that you need answered regarding ERP Next or Frappe framework, feel free to contact us on those details on that page. Thank you so much for listening to me and uh, see you in the next video.